Right in the beginning of my term as MP, Vyanar faced a tremendous tragedy, a huge flood. People lost their homes, lost their loved ones, lost their livelihood, and are struggling with the future today. And this tragedy did not miss anybody. It didn't matter if you were a farmer, a small businessman, a poor person, a rich person, young, old, man, woman. It did not discriminate between people. I learned quite a lot from the way Vyanar reacted to this tragedy. I saw the spirit of why not the spirit of Kerala? I have been to many tragedies, many, many different sites, but I have never seen this type of reaction before. Two elements were there in this reaction. Number one, not a single person not a single person lost their sense of respect, dignity, and self-confidence. I would ask little girls, little boys who had lost their house, if they were scared, and all of them would answer, we are not scared. And I'm sure all of you, all of you have experienced this. The second thing was, that in the tragedy, Vyanar stood together, united. People were not divided along community lines, religious lines, gender lines, even political party lines, everybody stood together. This spirit has shown me that Vyanar can come out of any tragedy. And it has made me very, very proud to be your member of parliament. So, the first challenge, and again this challenge cuts across community lines, cuts across economic lines, is the idea of compensation. And we required rehabilitation. Raise your voice to the government and I will do so. Once the compensation has been paid, then we have to start thinking about the future. And there are many exciting things that can be done in Vyana. I think tourism is a huge asset, potential asset for Vyana. We want to, we should 
make Vayanad the center of tourism. I said in my speech earlier, when people think about tourism and when they think about Kerala, God's own country, immediately they should think about Vayanad. Frankly, if we are to make a success of tourism in Vainar, then it cannot be done without you. Small and medium businesses are the backbone of every economy. You are the job creators of this country. And it is a tragedy, frankly. Demonetization and the implementation of GST are a tragedy for this country and I understand the pain that you had to fall pain that you had to feel because of these actions. So I am a believer in your ability to make why not successful. And I want you to view me not as your MP, but as somebody who is going to work with you. As your, as your family member, as your brother, as your son. What is disturbing you? What is worrying you? And how I can help? I want to have a relationship of trust with you. Sometimes I might tell you bluntly that what you are asking cannot be done. But what is disturbing you? What is worrying you? And how I can help? I want to have a relationship of trust with you. Sometimes I might tell you bluntly that what you are asking cannot be done. But it is my commitment to try and do everything humanly possible to achieve it. I don't want this to be just one meeting that we have because of the floods. I, I want this to be regular conversation. I want to understand in detail what you are feeling and how we can help there are complex issues in Vainad as well. Night traffic ban, man-animal conflict, education, connectivity. These are not simple problems. But I am confident so, the first challenge, and again this challenge cuts across community lines, cuts across economic lines, is the idea of compensation. I 
ഈ നഷ്ടപരിഹാരം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന കാര്യത്തിൽ ജനങ്ങൾക്കിത് നഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടവർക്ക് അവർക്ക് അതിന് ആവശ്യമായ നഷ്ടപരിഹാരം യഥാസ്ഥിതി അതുകൊണ്ട് 